Hello and welcome to City Beat. We are your central source of news and information for the city of Rocky Mount. I'm Public Affairs Manager Tamika Keenan Norman. And if you've been wondering where in the heck is City Beat, I have been out on maternity leave for quite some time. I had a handsome little baby boy. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but I think he's handsome. Handsome little baby boy. And we are now back. I'm excited to be back on the show again and just happy to continue relaying some more positive news to you. And some really positive news that we got recently recently was the selection of Mike Varnell as fire chief for the Rocky Mount Fire Department. And we uh, swore him in just a few days ago. So I wanted to take a look at the oath of office ceremony. We're going to speak with Mike Varnell in just a few. He's our only guest on the show today, and we're going to get to know him just a little bit better. But first, take a look at this oath of office ceremony. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the City of Rocky Mount, I want to thank each one of you for joining us. This is a very special occasion this afternoon. Just wanted to give you a little history about the City of Rocky Mount Fire Department. The first department was organized, was actually approved by council on March 11th in 1896. And here we are, almost 119 years later, to the date, we're getting ready to have a new fire chief take over the reins, and we're extremely proud of Mike. The values of the department, integrity, honesty, respect, teamwork, and dedication, they're all played out in the way the department protects lives and property through quality and excellence in service. They strive for continuous improvement, driven by high professional standards, collaboration, and innovation. Those values that we know Mike will continue to move forward in our department. At this time, I would want to take an opportunity and ask the mayor if he would come forward to formally welcome you all to our program this afternoon. Following the mayor's welcome, we'll have the presentation of colors and the Pledge of Allegiance led by our division chief, Ronnie Raper. And then we'll have our invocation by Chaplain Anderson, Mayor Combs. Uh, thank you all so much for being here today. This is always uh, a great occasion when we have somebody new that's uh, being sworn in, particularly at this level. Um, we are very fortunate in our city to have a, a world-class fire department. Uh, part of that reason is for Chief Varnell has been part of that. He's worked his way up through the ranks of the Rocky Mountain City Fire Department over the years. Uh, we've been certified again in part of that process he was a part of. And so it's a, it's a great occasion for us here in the city of Rocky Mount to do, uh, be a part of this. Uh, when I was running for mayor the first time, uh, I actually spent one night in the fire department and um, down on George Street. And they said, you might not get a lot of sleep tonight. And it was seemed like every time I got ready to go to sleep, the alarm would go off again. Uh, the one thing they wouldn't let me do, though, is slide down the pole. They made me walk down. Uh, but it was a great experience in terms of seeing what our fire department does each and every day. Last year, and um, I'll speak about this a little bit more tonight, we had over 9,500 calls for service from my Rocky Mount Fire Department. 81% of those were EMS calls. So they play an important part of public safety in the city of Rocky Mount. And I'm proud of uh, Chief Arnell. I'm proud of our fire department. I want to say thank you for all of them for what they do each and every day in our city to make our citizens safer and make it a better place to live. So again, on behalf of the Rocky Mount City Council, and I see a couple of them there, Council Member Rogers, Miller, uh, Mr. Bullock, I think is here somewhere. Uh, we wanna thank you all for what you do each and every day in the city of Rocky Mount. And thank you all for being here today for this celebration. Thank you for being here. Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to ask you now if you would please stand for our presentation of colors from the Rocky Mount Fire Department on the guard. Thank you. 
pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's give Chief Burnell a great hand clap. What a great accomplishment. Come on, put those hands together and really give him a great word. <clears throat> we come to celebrate his achievements, but it could not be done without having faith in God. Talk to him many a times, and he do honor the Lord. And that's why we're gathered here today, to just honor our God for protecting our fire men and fire women that are protecting our city. Come on, let us pray. Father, we thank you for just this great occasion. We just give you glory and honor in the precious name of Jesus. We ask you to just bless this occasion, strengthen our fire department, and bless the future chief. We pray, God, that you will open up wisdom and understanding even to a greater height as he steps to another level of service. And God, we just pray that you'll keep them all under the blood as they go and they protect the city from day to day the EMSs as well, God. We just give you praise and glory. Now, God, as we celebrate this great achievement, we pray that, God, we will pray and continue to pray one for another. We thank you in the precious name of Jesus. And everybody say, amen. 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 The mayor took a moment and recognized the mayor and council members that are joining us today. But I'd also like to take this opportunity to um, recognize our department heads that are here with us today. Um, if you all would please stand. We realize that all of us work together as a team. Go ahead, you all can stand. So, or raise your hand if you're more comfortable. So thank you for our department heads that are here with us today. Do we have any former fire chiefs that are here with us? I see a hand in the back. There's, we have two of our former fire chiefs that are here. Thank you all for joining. Are there um, any other elected officials that might be joining us that we need to recognize at this time? I think I saw um, Dr. Carver with Nash Community College. Is Dr. Carver with us this afternoon? Thank you for joining us, Dr. Carver. In addition to the staff members that we work with in our community organizations, I'd also want to take this moment to recognize some important members from Mike's family that are here with us. Um, Mike talks about his wife and his children quite a bit. So at this time, I would ask if Mike's wife, Miss Ellen Varnell, if you'll please stand. And also his sons are here with us. We have Carter and his son, Micah. If you all please give them a round of applause. <laughs> I'd like to call on Mr. Charles Penny, our city manager. He will do an introduction of our fire chief. Thank you, Tasha, and thank you to everyone for being here today. Uh, as a city manager, uh, sometimes you get really good uh, uh, chances to do things that people like and sometimes we have to do some things that people don't like. But today, I'm, I'm very blessed to have the opportunity to uh, have a great uh, uh, responsibility in introducing our new fire chief. Uh, as we were thinking about the uh, uh, selection and the appointment, uh, I want to apologize to uh, Kim Mullins and Keith Harris and Trey Mayo, because as I thought about the fire department, I've been with the city of Rocky Mount on March 21st will be 21 years. We've appointed, this will be the fourth fire chief that has been appointed in my tenure. And I never remember us doing a swearing in ceremony. And so Ken, I apologize to you. And Keith, I apologize to you as well. Uh, we should have been doing that because uh, the position is such an important position in our community. Uh, I'm going to blame J.E. Hawkins since he isn't here today. <laughs> He'll get that on tape. J.E., watch the tape. Uh, but J.E. also is an outstanding leader, and, and so we want to appreciate him today as well. In selecting the fire chief, um, we went through an extensive process. We had over 65 applications, went through an assessment center, uh, and Mike Varnell came out on tops in that process. And so it makes it easy on me as city manager to appoint him as uh, fire chief. 
But just a little bit about Mike. Uh, he's been with the department since 1989. Uh, and pri pr prior to being selected as fire chief uh, and then become an interim fire chief, he served as assistant fire chief. Um, he joined the department uh, as a firefighter and emergency medical technician. And he was later pr promoted to fire captain and battalion chief in the operations division. Varnell holds a Master of Science degree in Executive Fire Service Leadership from Grand Canyon University, a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration from the University of Mount Olive, and an Associate of Applied Science and Fire uh, Protection from Wilson Community College. Additionally, Varnell received the Chief Fire Officer's designation through the Center for Public Safety Excellence and is, is a graduate of the Executive Fire Officer Program from the National Fire Academy in Emmitsburg, Maryland. Mike is also very community-minded. Uh, he, Barnell, volunteers locally for the United Way Tar River, Tar River Region, Wilford Elementary School um, Leadership Program, Nash Community College, Public Safety and Emergency Man, uh, Management Advisory Committee. In the city of Rocky Mount, um, at least since I've been manager, one of the things that we always like to share with our uh, supervisors and our employees uh, when we um, meet and do our uh, supervisory training, uh, we think about the Athenian Oath. And you have to remember that the Athenian Oath was recited by the citizens of Athens, Greece over 2,000 years ago. It is frequently referenced by civic leaders in modern times as a timeless code of civic responsibility. So since I'm not going to get to speak after Mike finishes uh, his um, oath, I just wanted to, this is sort of a charge to Mike as the new fire chief. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, you know. I'm just going to go to the last sentence, which I think is the most important. And what that says, it says, thus, in all these ways, we will transmit this city, and in this case, this fire department, not only, not less, but greater and more beautiful than it was transmitted to us. What that means is we're to leave it better than we found it. Mike is inheriting a great and outstanding fire department. And when he's finished, he's going to turn over an outstanding fire department to someone else. At this point, I would like to introduce to you um, the Honorable uh, Anthony W. Tony Brown, District Court Judge, to administer the oath of office to our new fire chief, Chief Michael L. Varnell, and invite um, his wife and his two sons to come forward to uh, participate in that process. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Penny. Mr. Von Hill, will you take the Bible in your left hand and raise your right, please? Do you, Michael L. Varnell, solemnly swear that you will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States and the Constitution and laws of North Carolina, not inconsistent therewith, and that you will faithfully discharge your duties as fire chief for the city of Rocky Mount to the best of your ability and with, with respect and dignity at all times? I do. Do you also solemnly swear that you will be ever vigilant with regard to the safety of your firefighters, that you will exercise fiscal responsibility, and that you will serve the citizens of the city of Rocky Mount with compassion and courage? So help you God. I do. Congratulations. these documents.
Good afternoon. First, I want to thank City Manager Charles Penny, Assistant City Manager Tasha Logan Ford for allowing me this opportunity to serve. It has been a desire of mine for many years, and today it's becoming a reality. I want to thank the Mayor and City Council for their attendance today and for their support in the days to come. I want to thank the department heads that are here today for their support in this time of transition and to let you know I'm looking forward to working with you on the leadership team. I want to thank all those today that are representing other public safety organizations. We're in this business together protecting lives and property. And without each other, we would not be successful. For all of the past and present members of the Rocky Mountain Fire Department and all your years of service and dedication, I thank you for everything you do each and every day for this city. I look forward to serving, and I'm very honored to be called as the ninth paid fire chief for the city of Rocky Mountain. To all our community partners that are here today and friends, I appreciate your support not only today, but in the past and definitely in the future. Last but not least, my family, my dear wife, Ellen, which has been my rock of support through each and every endeavor I've ever taken on. My sons, Carter and Michael, you have blessed my life beyond measure. I'm very proud of the young men you've become. Thanks to all my other family members that are here today and friends for your support and prayers over the years and in the future. I will be remiss today if I didn't mention my father. Some of you know he was a firefighter and loved it dearly. But most of you don't know that the day Mr. Penny announced my selection was a two-year anniversary of my dad's passing. I would give anything for him to be here today, but I know he's here in spirit. For my mother, who could not be here for health reasons, I thank Tamika and Mark for making it possible to share with her later. I earnestly believe that our lives are fashioned by choice that we make choices and our choices make us. Today I want to celebrate a choice I made over 25 years ago, choosing fire service as a career in the city of Rocky Mount family. The fire service has been a great fit for me because I love people when I love serving. John 15, 13 says, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for another. That verse summarizes what the fire service is all about. A person that is willing to give his life for another fellow man, there is no greater sacrifice on earth. In summary today, I want to leave you with a promise. I want to assure you that I will continue to embrace our department's five core values of dedication, respect, honesty, integrity, and teamwork as I lead this organization to the future. None of us know what the future really holds, but I know that if we hold these core values close to our heart and let them lead our decisions, we will be successful and we will be united in that journey. I thank you all again for coming today, for your support in the future as we strive to leave this department, this city organization, and this community better than we found it. Thank you and God bless you. I think um, all of you can agree that there's, there's no question why Mike was chosen as the next leader of this department. When I first came to the city of Rocky Mount about a year and a half ago, I think Mike was one of those first phone calls that I got. And um, Mike, you gave me a choice that day. And the choice was whether or not I wanted to go and participate at Williford Elementary School and to speak to that group. And right then, it was easy for me to see that Mike was somebody that you could easily relate to. He was someone that could be trusted. And he was someone that had a love for this community and not just the department. So, Mike, I look forward to continue working with you and watching you make those positive choices as we move forward. I'd like to say that we are very um, thankful and very proud of Chief Barnell and the support that is in this room today speaks high volumes of this man and the accomplishments that he has done through the Rocky Mount Fire Department. And um, at this time, let's, let's join together for prayer. 
Lord, we love you. We thank you, Lord, today, God, for your goodness and your mercy that you have extended upon each and every one of our lives. We thank you, Lord, for this ceremony today and all those that's been involved, for the support that is in this room today, God, for this man that's leading this fire department in forward progress. I pray, Lord, that you would allow wisdom and strength to come to him and, and on top of the mountains or down in the valley, Lord, that wisdom and strength would always be with him, that you would allow him to make the right and the proper decisions at any given time. And we thank you, Lord, for this family and how they support one another in this endeavor. We give you praise for all that's been accomplished, and we'll love you and thank you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hello and welcome back to City Beat. If you're just tuning in, you just saw the Oath of Office ceremony for our new fire chief, Mike Barnell. Very to happy, happy to have him uh, become fire chief for the fire department. And we're going to get to know him just a little bit better. He's joining us on the show today for the very first time, right? Yes, first time. Yeah, well, welcome. Thank you. Thank welcome, you for having me. Welcome, welcome. How does it feel, Mike? Let's just start off with that. It's, it's exhilarating. It's, it's a very exciting time for me and the organization. Um, I've been working in this regard for some time. It's been a, it's been a desire of mine for some time, so I'm really excited about the opportunity. We have a great organization, and I'm really honored to be, to be named as fire chief mm -hmm. and be able to lead this organization. And I know during the uh, Oath of Office ceremony, Mr. Penny kind of went down your bio, mm -hmm. talked about all the things that you have, had done. But for those who are just tuning in, give us that again, how you started with the fire department and, and up until your most recent role. Well, I started as a firefighter back in 1989 when we actually did some, um, some expansion and we mm -hmm. built Station 6. We hired a group of 19 candidates. So I was one of the largest groups in the history of the fire department. Um, started as a firefighter, kind of progressed my way through the ranks. Um, I've gotten all my education since I've been with the fire department. I got an mm -hmm. associate's while I was going and working uh, from Wilson Community College in fire protection. I got a bachelor's from Mount Olive in mm -hmm. business administration. And then I continued to, to get a uh, master's degree in executive fire service leadership from Grand Canyon University. During that time, I went to the fire academy about eight different times and went through the fire academy's uh, executive fire officer program. And I'm a graduate of that. Um, and most recently in my chief fire officer designation. So a lot, I've been very, very busy over my 25-year yes. career. Uh, <laughs> but it takes a lot of skill and qualification to advance to the ranks on a public sector organization. So that's what I've been working on for, for a long time. I can imagine. I can, and, and all of that experience, I'm sure, will lead you to being a great fire chief. But how do, how do you think that experience and some of those certifications will help you in, in your new role? Well, I think um, uh, accreditation is a good example. I mean, I've been involved in that since 03. We mm -hmm. were created, first accredited in 03 and can, have continued that. Um, that's a best practices, continuous improvement model. And I've kind of been an advocate for that. I've been very involved in that. So that experience has been great. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a peer assessor for, for Accreditation International. So I go out and see other fire departments. Mm -hmm. And not only fire departments, but the best fire departments in the world. So that has been a great experience for me. It, it allows me to come back with great ideas at no cost to the city. It's a great, it's a great chance to, to mm -hmm. learn from the best of the best. And we've been able to employ some of those uh, strategies and tactics in our operations. And we're one of how many in the state that's accredited? There's actually 19 in the state of North Carolina, which is the highest number ever. And it's the, the largest in, in, in the country. We're, we lead the country with 19 accredited agencies. That's 196 internationally. So it's quite an accomplishment to, to be accredited. And it's not just a check in the box thing, it's a best practice, it's a continuous improvement. And it's, it's always changing. So the standards are always changing. So once you get accredited, you just don't stay accredited. You have to continually, mm -hmm. annually comply. So, mm -hmm. so you're always learning. It's always a, a best and mm -hmm. continuous improvement. Good, good. So let's start from the beginning. How did you even get in the fire industry? What sparked that interest? Well, um, most folks probably know my dad was a firefighter um, in a local volunteer agency um, close by. And uh, I grew up basically around the fire station. I mm -hmm. learned a lot from them watching him admire his calling. Um, so I, I kind of grew up in the fire station. I went off to college um, locally here and uh, tried architectural engineering. Uh, but I'm not an inside guy. I'm, a, I'm somebody that likes to get outside and do things. I like the, I like the variety of the fire service, so that's kind of what led me to the fire service, and, and I've loved it ever since. It's been great for me. Good, good. Now, you know, during your oath of office ceremony, you kind of choked up a little bit. I did. And when you're talking about family and you get such a huge promotion and you've been doing this for so long, yes. I can only imagine all those emotions that were running through. But 
tell me this. One of the things you mentioned was that it was the anniversary of your dad's passing yes. when Mr. Penny called you and said you were selected. Yes, he did. What, what do you think your dad would have said? He would have been very proud. Mm -hmm. He would have. Um, he uh, he loved he loved the fire service, and I, and I just really admire that in him. And um, he would be very proud to know that I have continued my thing. He just wanted me to be, best, be the best I could be, mm -hmm. whether it was a firefighter or fire engineer or fire captain, just be the best I could be at whatever. So every promotion I ever got while he was living, he was excited about it and he was happy for me. And, and I know he would be happy about this. And, and I know somehow he knows. Good, good. So what's your job responsibilities as fire chief now? Well, it's quite, in, uh, quite involved. Um, probably one of the biggest things is fire code enforcement. Mm -hmm. you know, we enforce the fire code within the city limits. And so that's a big, big responsibility to enforce that fire code. And it, has, it does a good job because in the occupancies that we inspect, uh, less than half of one percent have actually have fires. So the fire code does its job if we apply it, and we do a very good job with that. So managing that fire code, enforcing that fire code, is a, is a big is a big part of the responsibilities. Hazard mitigation is another one, mitigating those incidents. Mm -hmm. We respond to over 9,500 calls a year. Um, about 80 percent of those are emergency medical calls. The other 20 percent is a wide range of different things. Um, fires, motor vehicle crashes, confined space, technical rescue, just a wide range of things. So managing all that and making sure that is done correctly with best practices is a, is a big job in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, the physical responsibility of managing capital projects, managing operating budgets, that's a big responsibility that I've been involved with for several years now, but as the, as the fire chief, I will be ultimately responsible for all of those projects. Um, of course, human resource is a big piece of it. When you have 157 employees, you know, recruiting is a big, big deal, mm -hmm. hiring, promoting, all the disciplinary procedures, so human mm -hmm. resource is a big one. And probably one some, um, a lot of people forget or tend not to cultivate as well as external relationships. And I really, really try to work hard in that area um, with all the community partners that we have. We have a lot of good relationships with a lot of different community partners and external uh, public safety agencies that we work with. So mm -hmm. external relationships are very, very important part of my job. Okay. A lot of the things you mentioned, people may not even think that the fire department does. Exactly. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of different things. What, what do you think has been the most challenging aspect for you? Because, like you said, you were doing a lot of this before as assistant fire chief. I think one of the most challenging things, not maybe so much for Rocky Mountain Fire Department, but the fire service in general is the time it takes to progress through the ranks. Mm -hmm. It's not like the private sector when you come out of college and go into a job that you're going to probably be in for the majority of your career. In public safety, you have to pretty much start out at the bottom and work your way up. Mm -hmm. A lot of school, a lot of uh, qualifications, certifications have to be done. And it's just a slow turnover. We have a very low turnover rate. Mm -hmm. Most time when we lose somebody, it's only to retirement. So you don't have a lot of turnover, so it's a slow process. So you have to be patient and kind of wait for folks to retire and move up and take opportunities. So that has been challenging but rewarding in, in the same mm -hmm. respect. Does it feel like you've been here as long as you have? It's gone by really fast. Um, mm -hmm. I've enjoyed my job here. I've enjoyed my career. Um, we've got a great group of people. Uh, the city network, the fact of the fire family, and that's really what we are because we, we basically live together 24 hours a day. So mm -hmm. uh, I've really, really enjoyed it, and the time has gone by really fast. Mm -hmm. Since you're together so often, I know you have some stories, oh, some yeah. moments that you can share with us. Um, <laughs> we have a lot. I mean, and, and young, when you're coming up as a firefighter, you're, you, you spend a lot of time together, and you really, really get, I mean, you spend basically more time with these guys and girls than you do your, your family. Mm -hmm. So we had a lot of good times. Um, we cook together at night, and we, we break bread together. So that, that's a good camaraderie. We train together. We do a lot of things. But um, we just make a difference in so many people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, we're willing to go out and sacrifice ourselves to save fellow man, and that's a big, big sacrifice. But I can think of an instance er, in the early 90s when I was a firefighter. We had a, we had a house fire that had four small children trapped inside. And just to be able to save those kids and know that they went on to live, and they're still living today. So, okay. but if we hadn't responded that night, the police department was there to help us. It was a group effort. If we hadn't been there that night, those kids wouldn't have made it. So, just to know that you have that kind of effect day in, day out, it's it's very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Very rewarding. So, what's your long-term goal? My long long-term goal for the department is, of course, to remain. Um, in the accreditation process because it's a continuous improvement. It's not a check in the box. It's not a we're done. It's always improving. That standard is changing. So trying to meet that, striving to meet that is going to be a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a public protection class rating of two. I only have about 10 in the state of North Carolina. So coupled with the ISO rating of a two and accredited, 
we're very, very marketable. We're very, very um, talented department. A very, okay. Uh, What's the ISO and I'll explain yes. all that. The ISO is the public protection rating. That is our insurance rating. So when businesses have their business insurance, one of the first questions they ask is what is your rating? Mm -hmm. And that rating, if the lower the rating, the lower your insurance is. And it's really, really important to commercial occupancies. That really makes a big difference in commercial occupancies. So the lower that rating is, the lower the insurance is for those for those people. So okay. that's very important. Well, good. I got to ask you this, too, because it's admirable to see somebody who started at the bottom and worked your way all the way to the top. So for those who aspire to be in the fire service industry, what's your what's your advice to them? They see you now and they say, one day I want to be like him. I want to be like Chief Varnell. It's just um, patience, hard work, uh, being willing to make that sacrifice and being able to manage family and church and all your other things going on because everybody has a life outside of our organizations and we try to manage that and you just don't want people to create ceilings for themselves you hear guys right now saying well i, I want to be a fire captain but that's all i want to be and I, mm -hmm. and I tell them i say you're young don't say that because you don't know what the future holds when you come into an organization you don't know where you're going to wind up so you keep striving you keep working hard you go to school the city offers opportunities for, for extra training uh, there's a lot of opportunities out there um, but being coming from firefighter to fire chief in one organization is very rare this day and mm -hmm. time. In our culture now, it's, 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 uh, you see a lot of guys moving from organization to organization to do that. So okay. I feel very fortunate to have to been able to stay here and, and go all the way to the ranks. Well, once again, congratulations. You just have a wonderful, just a charismatic personality. Well, thank and you. it was evident in all the people who came to your oath of office ceremony. Even one of the former fire chiefs was there. Yes. Uh, help me with his name. Ken Mullen was there and yes. Keith Harris. So we had two, two previous fire chiefs there. I didn't yes. realize there were two. Yep. Okay, it was before my time, but I knew, I knew one of them was there. So it, it says a lot about, it speaks a lot about your character. Well, so congratulations. It. Thank you very Anything much. Anything else you want to add? I'm just very excited about the opportunity. Um, we got a great organization, great people. And I think our future is very bright. And, okay. uh, and I look forward to, to leading this organization into the next uh, generation. All right. Well, congratulations. If you need anything, let me know. Thank you very All much. All right. And I'm sure you'll see Chief Mike Varnell in our community somewhere out and about. So thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of City Beat. I'm Tamika Keenan-Norman, and we'll be back with more next week.